Taste of the Caribbean food truck, and I'm Larry, one of the owners and operators of Taste of the Caribbean. We came up with Taste of the Caribbean food truck because after we moved to Indiana, there was such a lack of Caribbean food that I told my wife her cooking was so good I needed to share it with the world. After numerous days sitting up and figuring out how to introduce Indiana to the Caribbean, we came up with some simple starters like jerk chicken, where we roast fresh every day on our grill. What we do, we, we marinate the chicken for at least four days in all natural herbs and spices that we try to get from local producers. Other than that, scallions, thyme, uh, a couple of other secret things I can't tell you about, but those definitely go into the works. That's grilled on our grill for at least three and a half hours on a slow, slow roast, as well as our jerk beef. That's a 12-hour roast, which is one of our more popular dishes as well. As far as healthy options go, our grilled eggplant. We like to call them eggplant steaks, and it's not just for vegetarians. We cut the eggplant long, we brush it with some olive oil, some secret spices, and we grill it fresh to order. We usually have what's called the flatbread, which is a grilled man as the base. There's a bed of baby arugula, you get a side of mango, pineapple sauce, and a side of avocado. The State House Market has been one of the best plugs for us, not only because of the exposure that we get, but we get to meet other produce vendors and we've been pairing up with a few of them so we can keep it as local as we possibly can. It also helps us to stay on our toes and remind our customers that a healthy food option, that's a tasty food option, is definitely better than McDonald's.